If you are looking for real Guyanese food, then you are on your right channel, my friends. Welcome to Real Nice Guyana, home of all the traditional Guyanese recipes. Today we are going to be doing a recipe for lat pat fish. Who knows what that is? So it's not your regular fish curry. It's a dry down fish curry. Like how you, you make a chicken curry and then you have bunjal chicken. So this is like a bunjal fish. And there is a special way in cooking it. You cannot um, like rough it up as they say when you are cooking. Uh, to break up the fish. The fish should be whole and so on at the end of this dish. So for this dish guys we are going to be uh, using the following ingredients. We have our bangam area there in the, in the bowl. We're going to be using some curry powder, roasted ground jeera, garam masala, onions, tomato, garlic, pepper, scallions, salt. And as always, all the ingredients will be listed with measurements in our description box below the video. So for this last pot, my friends, we are using this uh, some smaller bangamiri. These ones are very juicy, delicious. Of course, you can use larger fish. And lat pot can be had with roti, rice, dal and rice, whatever you like to have it with. But I personally like to have mine with just some rice. You know, there are some things that are so good that you really don't want dal to interfere with the taste. And that's how lat pot is to me. So as you see we are using a whole head of garlic for this latpat fish. And as you notice mom is doing this recipe today. Mom is a pro in latpat. She was telling me the story about her mom went out and asked her to cook latpat. That time she didn't know the art of making it. So when her mom came back and saw her, her lat pat, she said, Yeah, the way you cook it. The fish was all mashed up, of course, because she didn't know, really. So eventually she learned, and now she is a pro in making lat pat. So this is what we're going to be showing you today. You're getting the lat pat recipe from the pro. So we've pounded our garlic, as you can see, my friends, and the pepper. We are using two very, very peppers in this recipe. You don't have to use any peppers if you don't want to. So now we're gonna go cut up our onion. So Molly is helping out with the cutting up of the seasonings. And this is the amount of fish we have. Um, I would average this is about two pounds of fish. That's what I put in the description. So we're using two scallions as you can see. Two stems. So we're gonna be using only half of the tomato. So we are using about 3 tablespoons of curry powder in this recipe guys. You need a good amount of curry powder to give your lat pad the color it should have, which is a bright color. So we are going to mix our curry paste now. So that was the onions, uh, the garlic that we pounded with the pepper, then the jeera masala, curry powder. Some water. So we've added also the tomato, scallions and the onion here.
So we've added some oil to our pan. All right, so our oil is hot. Now we're gonna throw in our masala. So I know you for younger folks, if you don't have somebody older in the family who introduced you to that fat fish, you wouldn't know about that. So here's your tutorial on how to make a good lad fat fish. Only a real nice Guyana. So as usual we're gonna let this cook for the two minutes or so. Alright folks, so our masala has been cooking for about 2 minutes, so now we're gonna add our fish, which has been washed with some lime and so on, lemon. And I tell you guys, the, the taste of this lat pat is so intense. I don't like to have it with anything other than rice. I don't like dal getting in the way of my lat pat and rice. Dal as good as it is. I like my lot fat and rice alone. That was the salt. So you're gonna give this a good mix. Make sure your fish is thoroughly covered with your face. So this is a delicate dish my friends. You have to be careful not to turn this too much. Later on we will be turning this. And that's looking good already, isn't it? Yummy. Alright my friends, so once you've mixed in your masala and everything with this here, now you want to cover this and let it cook. So we're gonna cover this now. There we go. Alright guys, so it's been about 5-6 minutes for our lat pad, so we're gonna check it now. And give it a little bit of shake. So that's how you want to do it guys, you can't turn this now because your fish is delicate, it's going to break easily. So that's what lad pat is, you just, you cook this dry down and the fish should be whole, not broken up. So we're going to cover this back and uh, let it cook until it's done. And you can see how delicious that's looking already guys. So we're going to give it a little more time and then this will be ready. Alright my friends, so our lat pot should be done now. So total this took about 50 minutes. So you're gonna turn like halfway. Well shake halfway. And look at that. So that's it there guys. Looking delicious our lat pot manga Mary. So once you bonje your masala and you add this in, mix it up well. So from that time it's only gonna take about 12 to 50 minutes total in cooking your fish. Fish doesn't take very long to cook. So around halfway time you're gonna give it a little shake. Make sure the fish is loose and so on. Let it continue cooking. And this is here is ready. So look at that. All we need is some rice now. And this is gonna work real nice. So that's it for our lat pat banga mary fish recipe guys. If you like this video Please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Please share this video also. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.